Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We got another sneaker review video and we got probably my all time favorite here. This is the Babesa Kanye West College Dropouts from 2007. Obviously part of the album, got the famous mascot right there, there. And uh, yeah, this pair is amazing. I love this pair and we're just gonna dive into what this pair is all about. Uh, we're not really gonna get into the history, let's kind of go through what it looks like. Um, some things to look out for because it is an old pair. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of flaws that happen with these. So if you buy them to wear them, you're playing a risky game. But we're gonna dive into why that is and let's just do it. So we got the Kanye West Babesas here. Let's dive into the shoe. What do they look like? First, I'm gonna show you the box because I forgot. I actually have the box with this pair, which the box, you guys would be probably blown away. The box for this pair I would imagine probably sells on its own $500 to $1,000, a real box. So, 1,000 bucks in my hands right here. Um, but yeah, so we got the box label, very cool. These are from 2007. So, not too much going on that's different about this babes the box. It's a pretty similar box. Got the old discolored paper in there because if your pair is not aged, your pair is not real. Um, just gotta put it out there. But let's dive into this shoe because this is what you all came for, of course. And this shoe is uh, very special for that right there. So you obviously have this very iconic colorway from the album, everything about it, cover, everything. And um, got this leather with this. I don't even know what to call this material. It's like a, almost like a clay-like material on the toe box. It's like very grainy. It peels and it cracks. So we're gonna jump into more of the flaws on the back too. Um, but yeah, you got the uh, babes, the typical insole in there. And then you got this weird material on the tongue, which we're also gonna jump into. It's the main flaw of this shoe, fortunately. But yeah. Um, I mean, it's a great looking shoe overall. So what are the issues with this shoe? What should you look out for? And where do I see this shoe kind of going? Um, first, the issues. One, midsoles. Midsoles are the first thing that usually gives out. Um, we've talked about it with the Nike Air Yeezys. They give out really, really, really fast. Babes does as well. So you can see here there is separation right there you can see it, the actual stitching inside there um so the midsole actually separates from the shoe and the glue and the stitching comes undone um which results in it falling apart um another issue that you can have with these and this is a rare issue your pair has to be worn a lot and then put away and never worn for this issue to happen is when the sole gets really 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 hard so you can see this one, it's not too hard. It's still got some like bounce in there, you hear that? So when it's hard, it will sound like I'm knocking on wood. Whereas like, it would be like a banging sound. This is what you want, but that's not a huge thing. Nothing that you should really, really be concerned about. Um, but this next thing is probably the most annoying is the peeling. I mean, it happens no matter what, can't stop it. Um, I think you can get it repainted. I think it's just like a paint that peels up, but it's annoying. And this is not that material. I wish they just did that material for all of it because this never has issues because it's like a leather, but very, very, very irritating there. But what can you do? Um, you gotta sacrifice for the drip a little bit. So you have this weird red texture, which that sometimes cracks if it gets too hard. I don't even know if you can fix that. I mean, I'm sure you could buy a rub pair and swap it over somehow. Someone probably does it. Um, and then probably the biggest flaw besides that midsole and the peeling is the cracking on the tongue. This is a big one. This is an annoying one. And see this material right here, right there. That's what's supposed to look like all throughout the tongue. 
it all chips away. You can literally see some of it chipping off right there. So you can't do anything about these flaws, unfortunately, besides get them restored after you wear them, but they're never going to look perfect. That's the thing about this shoe. And it drives people away from the shoe. That's why I don't think it's a $10,000 shoe. I think the Red Octobers, you know, you can repaint the midsoles, but there's no like major issues. Like they don't crumble like these. These literally crumble on the paint. They crumble on the top. And I mean, the soles crumble on both, but you get what I'm saying. So overall, I still love this pair. I just think it's super iconic. Kanye's first sneaker that he ever did back in 2007 with Bape. Very cool. Obviously, Pharrell, Babe, um, all those guys are heavily involved in the rap industry as well. So, yeah, um, just an iconic piece. And if you ever get a chance to own one, I wouldn't hesitate because I do see this pair going up in value over time, even with the uh, Kanye wilding out a little bit. But yeah, this is a great pair, and I don't think it will ever go down in value. So, if you ever want to pick one of these up, don't hesitate. It's a great shoe. I absolutely love these. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other suggestions on videos I could do or things you wanna see, let me know in the comments down below. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys and peace.